Hello everyone. In this video, we will see how to configure logback logs in a Maven project. So everybody knows like logs plays very vital role in development or automation projects. So the first, if you use any implementations like logback or log4j2, these four steps are essential. Okay, a Maven project and then you have to add the dependencies to corresponding uh, implementation then you should have a configuration file and then you have to write the logger statements in all classes the first uh, creating a maven project is from base like you can use a normal project or spring boot project so in this example i'm taking a normal maven project and uh, add the log pack configurations so in order to do this right click new others maven project create a simple project next and dot slow from qa log back dot example the same thing I'm providing here it creates a maven project and in pom.xml you need to provide the dependencies the first step is done add the dependencies so for the log back you have to go to maven repository and search for with log back and it will gives you this one okay so you have multiple versions use the stable one okay so on to one dot two dot three so copy this and put that into dependency section okay so this is the second step you can you add the dependencies the third one is the configuration file so it's a log pack dot xml file which contains uh, what kind of uh, what is the way you want to print your logs like console or file or what is the format what the level that you want to set okay so I have one file with me logpart.xml uh, in this video I'm not going to explain that uh, that's need to be copied into either src main resources or uh, src test resources it's depend upon the way where you write the logs like for the automation you use src test or resources and for the development you use main resources and if you see in the dependencies there is a something called scope test so that works only for uh, uh, src test resources if you remove that then you can use it in the src main resources also now i'm going to create a class new class example and package I'm going to call slocum QA so just remember this one because it's important I've created a class say so that public void plus one or we see something what you want to put here you need to write the logger statements that will be the fourth step okay so in order to provide the logger step like in the first statement that you have to provide is this one so you have to create a logger variable okay instance variable need to be created so this logger should be org.slf4j and log factory also should be from org.slf4j now you can write these three debug messages and run this program example equals to new example a dot dc see where this is going to print in the console or in the file that will be configured 
in logboard logbag.xml see in the console these three messages has been printed okay and if you refresh it creates a logs folder sample.log into this file. the same thing has been written into file also if you want to modify the location or the name go to the logback.xml here go to the source you have these two appended std out and file added you can update it here so log slash sample you can change the name or uh, sample dot log change this name those two places and if you want to change the level this you provide info here and this logger you remember I have provided com dot slocum QA that means it it checks the logs in this package com dot slocum QA if you are going to create a new uh, package with a different name that's need to be added here logger okay that's very important yeah i am going to add these files logbyte.xml and the sample code in the description uh, please find it thank you